So I've had a couple of interesting questions the last few days. Um, one question that keeps coming up, which I'm going to do a video on it and also do a little um, kind of like bullet point under the video that I'll post. Uh, and it's basically a few people have been asking me for specifics on what I do or what I have done or what I did or what I plan on doing personally um, for sort of for me, like the things that work for me in terms of step three that I've talked about in previous videos. Step three is basically uh, step three of like if you're, you know, trying to move forward from something difficult, whether it's a loss or a rut or Basically, it's this. It's the key step of um, <clears throat> focusing on yourself, self-focus, focusing on your goals, and you know, filling your life with things that energize you, and letting go of all the things that uh, drain you and and hold you down. So, I'm going to do a video on all the, my personal things, like my favorite songs, you know, like or types of music music that uplifts me, energizes me, same with movies, um, foods, you know, activities, hobbies, you know, it will be a ton of stuff, okay? And, um, you know, someone emailed me about this again today, so I thought, okay, you know what, I'm going to do this video, I'm trying to make this as uh, good as I can, so that I can refer people to it in the future. And, you know, uh, you, you never know. There might be some things that, I mean, obviously it's all going to be personal to me. And uh, everyone else is going to have their own unique custom tailored mix. It's your own, like, Bible, you know, of what is going to uh, make you better. You know, like what's going to help you on your uh, continuous improvement. Uh, to just keep getting better and better. Better keep getting better version of yourself becoming a better version of yourself. So uh, I'll do that video soon. I just need to put some homework into it and make sure that I don't miss anything out. Um, but for now, this video, I want to talk about another question that someone asked recently, which I wasn't really going to make a video on it, but I figured it ties into com confidence, self-confidence a lot. So um, the question was regarding this might be a little bit more directed at men because the question was about, you know, if you're bold or if you're losing your hair, how do we uh, remain confident or be confident despite that? And, uh, you know, while this is kind of more directed at, at men, if there are any girls out there, ladies watching, you know, you can still watch this and, you know, uh, you know sort of, apply this to other situations that might be more suitable to you and, and what might affect your confidence. It could be your weight, it could be <clears throat> um, your skin, it could be your health, you know, it could be anything, your teeth, your face, your nose, your finger, your, you know, people are, we're, there was one, well, there was this one movie, I remember, I think it was an Adam Sandler movie, it could have been something about no, nah, I don't think it was something about that. Or, all right, it was the one where he had the little kid and he was taking care of the kid. But yeah, there was this beautiful, gorgeous girl in this movie. And uh, she was dating this guy who was bald and he had like fake hair, you know, who's the guy from uh, Seinfeld. Uh, and, uh, you know, he is like short, bald, uh, and not the most good looking guy on earth. And he's dating this super gorgeous. Uh, girl who she's like freaking hot like they find a hot model to play this role and she her toe is like a bit weird like she has like a big toe or something and he just can't get over the fact that she has a really ugly toe okay which is really genius and there's a lot of genius in comedy like good comedy is good truth telling you know, I would even go as far as to say that we laugh sometimes when we hear the truth. It's like an instinctual response to the truth. You know, we feel comfortable sometimes when people share the truth or share truths that we're not brave enough to share or talk about. 
So the best comedians, in my opinion, are the ones that they confront that discomfort, but they bring comfort into that, into a discomfort, you know, an uncomfortable topic or, you know, whatever situation. So comedy is actually something I, I look at very similarly to fighting because you've got to be brave, you've got to be confident. And this ties into the video, by the way, to whoever's interested in, you know, how do you be confident if you, you know, don't have a full head of hair or whatever. It could be anything, yeah? You see, comedians, like, they have to be confident. They have to go out there and they have to be confident. Where does their confidence come from? It comes from focus. They're very focused on what they're talking about. And they're very, it's, it comes down to self-love, self-focus, self-love. Um, being able to focus on yourself basically, in a sense, means that you don't give a shit about what other people think, okay? So in order to, to have this focus, you know, things like meditating help a lot, you know, meditating every day helps tremendously. It helps me tremendously. I have yet to do a video on how important meditation has been to me because I keep putting it off because it's probably the most important thing that I've, you know, ever done. Meditating helps tremendously. So what meditating really can do is it can train your focus and your attention. So that, you know, if you're a comedian, you're focused on your jokes. You know, you're focused on what makes you happy. You know, you can talk about anything, but if a comedian, he feels happy and he, he's laughing himself at, his, at what, he's own, what he's saying, so a good comedian is basically entertaining himself, telling himself jokes up there, you know, sharing things that he thinks are funny, okay, and bringing people into his world. So his self-love, his self-attention, his self-focus, or her self-focus, her goals are so strong that, you know, they can bring people into their world. And, sh and share their energy with people, okay? So going back to, like, if you have something that's, you know, making you feel not so confident, I have plenty, by the way. Look, I don't have a full head of hair, you know? I, there's, I could write you a list, but what you're doing by doing that is you're focusing on the negative things, okay? So as I say in a lot of my videos, you know, focus on the, the positive, focus on the strength. You know, when I coach people, this is what we talk about. You know, you can... Think about all the bad stuff, you know, there's plenty of bad stuff to last you an entire lifetime of dwelling on it. But what you put your attention on grows. Attention is power, all right? You know, our attention is the pilot that's like saying, okay, I'm going to now be, be aware of what I'm looking at. I'm going to be aware of what I'm listening to. I'm going to be aware of what I'm thinking. Your thoughts aren't your attention. Your attention can be put onto your thoughts. So when you're thinking of, you know, you, your hair as being a weakness, or your lack of hair being a weakness, you're basically strengthening that negative thought. The more you think of it, you strengthen it more. And this is the, the main area, or it could be your weight. If you keep thinking about your weight, you're strengthening that negative thought. It's basically called negative self-talk. All right, and the more you do it, the more you strengthen. I talk in my videos about how you're strengthening the neural pathways in your mind. So you're making, you're carving these thoughts in your mind, making the, the firing of those electric, you know, neural pathways. You're making them stronger, easier, more accessible. So what happens is when you wake up in the morning, the strongest thoughts in your head, because you've just been exercising them, is I'm you know, losing my hair, I'm going to, you know, never find uh, someone who's attracted to me. And you're just telling yourself this. So, you know, when we talk about manifesting, you know, awesome things in life, like a ch world champion is going to be telling himself, I am the champion, I am the champion, I am the champion. If you watch John Jones, the MMA fighter, before his fights, he's shouting, I am the champion. Now, imagine if he was shouting, I am bald and you know, because I don't have enough hair, I look kind of weird, I'm not going to look so good in the audience, you know, it's going to stare at me, and, you know, I'm going to suck. You know, he's not saying that shit, is he? He's saying, I am the champion. So it's the same thing with you and your weight and your, you know, hair loss. I don't think about this. I don't, you know, look, what can I do about it? Nothing, right? So um, make it your strength, you know? Make it your strength. 
you know, or, or for me, like, I don't focus on it. I think about my strengths, you know, think about what you can improve. Find areas in your life that you can improve. You know, you can improve your, your posture, your shape, your diet, your way of thinking. You know, at the end of the day, what women are most interested in is someone who loves himself. Not in a selfish, arrogant way, but someone who has that self-confidence, that self-love, you know. Someone who's going to bring strength and confidence to, uh, to, to the person. And, you know, girls love that. They love to feel safe with a man, with someone who's strong. It doesn't mean, you know, physically strong or good-looking or, you know, has a full head of hair. No, someone that, you know, what, what women are most attracted to is confidence. And confidence comes from having a good self-image, from seeing yourself in a good way. Loving yourself, looking up at yourself, you know, looking at yourself and thinking, yes, I am awesome. You know, not in an arrogant way, but in a, you know, confident way. You know, feel good about yourself. Love yourself, okay? And people will notice that. So, like, in this video, I've talked about two things so far, which is the first is learn to master your focus, you know, so that you can put your focus on positive thinking, you know. And then, you know, I, I coach people in how to journal, journaling positive thoughts, before you go to bed, you know, uh, write down three things that you're grateful for. So, you know, all of this I've talked about many, many times. So I hope this answers the question. You know, it comes down to conditioning your mind to think more positively, to focus on your strengths, you know, rather than your weaknesses. And when you see your strengths, other people are going to see them. When you see your weaknesses, you're going to draw the attention of others to your weaknesses. If you're constantly focused on your hair when you go out, you're going to draw people's attention to that. But if you're focused on other things, so focus on your strengths and, you know, train yourself. Look, it's not going to be like just happen like this, like you drink a potion and that's it. It's going to take some work. It's like going to the gym and training your muscles. You're going to train your mind on how to think. I had to do this work. It took me six months. Like I was journaling every day and, and I keep doing it, you know, whenever I need it more. I try and do it without the book now. I try and just, you know, in my mind, constantly keep an eye on my thoughts, make sure that they're good, it's uplifting, strengthening thoughts. It doesn't mean that I'm going to be, you know, in denial and focusing way too much on positivity. No, it's important to also meet the negative thoughts, process them. Uh, you know, if you're angry about your hair or whatever, it's okay. But look, uh, <laughs> focus on your strengths. This is what they teach cancer patients. Remember, also, there's you could be a lot worse off. Okay, be happy that you have your health, you know, and all of these things. And then enhance what you can. And then you move forward, okay? You know, everyone has something. I've met beautiful women, gorgeous, gorgeous women, who are, you know, terribly insecure and, you know, think that they're ugly, you know? So it's not about, it's, a, it's about how you feel towards yourself. And that's going to radiate. If, you're, if you feel great about yourself, and that's all you have to convince is yourself. So do what you need to do to convince yourself, all right? Believe in yourself. Put your chest out. It's okay. Learn to be confident. Okay? Embrace it. Don't be cocky. I'll make a video one day about cockiness and confidence and the difference. Confidence is when you are, there's, you're abandoning fear and you're focusing on positive, on energizing. You know, it comes from a place of love. Okay? Cockiness is when it's from fear. It's like when you're trying to take. Okay? you're afraid. Confidence comes from loving yourself, from focusing on your strength and being grateful and saying thank you for you know my health, for my power, for my energy, for my life. Okay? So I hope this helps a little bit. Um, I'm, I could go on about this for a long time, but I think the gist of it is first and foremost, learn to master your focus and attention. could be through meditation so that you can, you know, be aware and not be so uh, on your negative thinking, you know, negative self-talk. And then secondly, uh, you know, condition your mind to think positively. So focus on the good things, the health, the grateful before you go to bed, the journaling, positive things, okay? 
And uh, yeah, let me know if, I, if you have any more questions and I'll make more videos soon.